All right, for the mods, I already talked about the tires. Uh, the first mod I did was the front headlight grill, which is the OEM headlight grill. Nothing special, just for the look. It makes it look kind of cool, I think. But I don't think it's going to protect anything. Um, then I got the uh, LED lights. So compared to the standard US turn signals, those are the European, the non-US European version LED lights, much cleaner, right? Uh, when you install these um, uh, LED lights, you need to replace this relay. Um, and you can buy the uh, relay uh, from the same website that you bought the um, LED lights. I'll link. I'll put the link in the uh, description. But you have to remove. Um, you have to remove this one and the other side. Open this up, and I think it's in there. Wait, is it in here? No, no, it's yeah, it's in here. It's in here. Um, because if you don't have this, you know, if you don't replace this, um, the LED lights may work erratically and also you may blow a fuse. Um, and don't get the one from Amazon, these are pretty cheap, so uh, just get it, get the official one. Um, then I did the uh, this is the USB charging port right here. Um, this is the KTM 390 version. It's, it's exactly the same as Husqvarna. Now you can, originally I had this mounted like right underneath here, but it looked kind of messy, so I changed it. So what I did was I wired it I wired it through here and then it connects to if you open this up there are two ports one is like constant um, um, power and one is you know power only when you turn on the bike so you can just plug that into one of those so I would suggest uh, connecting to the uh, uh, non-constant because you don't want to drain the battery uh, so you take this off, and then you just connect it, and then you clean the wires. And you got a USB charger, the way I mounted here, double-sided um, Velcro. You can get it from Lowe's, Home Depot get good quality one. And you got you got your charger. And um, on this other side. I had this Velcro, so I had my garage door opener. I put double sided and I just put it right here. Nice and clean, like that. Um, what else? Okay, so the front, I got this fly screen from a website in Europe that say Husqvarna OEM fly screen. So it's a fly screen, it doesn't do anything with the wind, but it looks cool. And I got this logo on Amazon. It's come on our logo. I put it on the inside. And it looks pretty cool. Um, so when I got this, the shipping was like 50 bucks. So instead of uh, so, so since I'm paying so much for the shipping, I got the barn mirrors because it was slightly cheaper there. It was like 80 bucks at the time for each one instead of the hundred nine dollars that they charge here in the US so I got them all together now when you install this uh, when you get this package uh, you're gonna be missing three screws and three rubber grommets so at first I thought you know I didn't get everything but and the directions are really basic but what you need to do is you need to use the existing screws that are part of this so there are three black screws underneath that hold this in and you need that and you need 
there are three grommets that are inside holding this in inside so you, you need to take those out and you need to put the grommets in the bracket inside in this um, for this uh, fly screen and the three screws that were here on the outside you need to use it inside then you got to use the screws that come with this fly screen there's one and there's two and there's three so anybody who want uh, who buys this just remember remember that and uh, with the uh, mirrors um, see these screws right here it you're gonna get two both if you get two mirrors both mirrors are gonna be facing this way so you need to undo these on one of them flip them around but when you flip them around and you put these screws back you need to lock tight them because if you don't these are going to come loose. Um, this screw right here, it just screws into whatever you had here. Uh, the, original, the original part had the uh, weight here, and it had a screw here. It was about this long. This screw is about this long, really long. And you don't really have to lock tight it. You can just hand tighten it, no problem. I had no problem with them. Um, Putting the mirrors down looks much better, but you can't see anything. So if I wanted to put this up, I'll take this out, put this on the other side, and vice versa. Um, this is where the mirrors used to be, and this is the blocker, the mirror hole blocker. This side is standard, standard thread, so you would you would go clockwise to tighten, but this side is the opposite. So Amazon has those, um, just for comparison, this is what the mirrors will look like, these are huge, right? Um, so on this side, which is the standard thread, like I will tighten, tighten regular way and untighten the, this way, I got this ball mount. And then you can use this ball mount for, you know, your phone or a camera, uh, whatever you want. And I actually had the phone mounted here, with, but it was sticking out too much. So I mounted the phone here on my quad lock. Um, this is the official Husqvarna key. have it here. I will need to take it off. Go like this. Take it with me, it's very handy. And I got this because uh, I was getting like oil filters and stuff from AOMC, which is the best website to get like Husqvarna KTM parts in the US. But I needed to, um, you know, get free shipping. So I added this keychain, but it's really handy. I really like it. Um, what else? Okay, anything else? Oh, I got the uh, screen. This is from AliExpress. It's pretty cheap, but it works well. Um, I got like this, this thing from AliExpress too. It's just a cover. Um, and I got this brake fluid cover, this official cover from AOMC. Hello, Haley. Hi. And then, what else did I do? Oh, there was this ugly um, decal that was right here. I took it off. Say hi. No. <laughs> I took it off thinking that it's going to be like this, but it's not. It's like this shiny piece, but this is indented. So here I put in like a reflective white uh, strip. And it looks pretty cool. But this decal was the ugliest thing ever. So I took it off. Um, oh, and the license plate. So basically, this is the way it looks originally. And I didn't like the way it looked. So I cleaned it up a little bit. And I put it here. It's not the exact same fit, 
So I had to work a um, bolt here in between and Loctite it in. But it looks much cleaner than if you had this. Uh, that's pretty much it for the mods that I did. Uh, now the now the muffler like exhaust I mean compared to all the other like um, like standard mufflers from other motorcycle companies like brand new bikes this muffler looks pretty good and when I was thinking about getting the exhaust I watched a lot of YouTube videos and the sound didn't it didn't do much with the sound. <laughs> so I didn't I didn't get I didn't get the exhaust. I don't think it was worth it. Uh, that's pretty much it. So look out for my um, uh, pickup video for my new motorcycle. And if you have a guess on what my new motorcycle will be, please comment below. And I am planning on getting the new action camera. So I will be. Hello. Welcome to my channel, guys. See you later. Bye. Bye. All right. So um, my kids are gone, so I can talk more freely. All right, so with the um, with the new motorcycle, I'm planning on doing a lot more videos. Um, I'm near New York City, so I'm gonna be doing like, inside Manhattan, I'm gonna be doing like um, uh, ride along videos, but I gotta decide on which camera I'm gonna get. I'm definitely not gonna get a GoPro, so I'm, I'm thinking DJ, I mean, Insta360, but I don't know which one. And also I'm like short on cash because I already like spent all my emergency money on, on the new motorcycle and I have to get some you know accessories and stuff like that parts for the new motorcycle because I need to um, add like a USB I need to do like a tail tidy whatever um, but uh, I'll do like a pickup video on my phone when I pick up the uh, new motorcycle um, did I forget anything? Oh, uh, hold on. So I got this uh, bar pad. This is from Etsy. It's only like 20 bucks shipped, but it's really good quality. And the original, the standard one comes like, I think 10 inches, but uh, you can customize it in the notes. And then you can customize it to, I think I did six inches. Uh, it looks really good. And they got like, you can choose different colors. They got like other motorcycle, you know, manufacturers like the official, you know, fonts and stuff. So I recommend looking them up. I'll put them in the link. Um, yeah, I think that's about it, guys. You know, if you have any comments or questions about uh, this motorcycle, um, you know, comment below and I'll try to reply to you as soon as possible. Oh, also, uh, if, if I don't sell it, like I said earlier, I'm going to trade it in. The dealer told me that, um, I can take off the, uh, foreign mirrors and the fly screen. And uh, so I'm going to put them on eBay, uh, for resale. They're really in good condition. Uh, so, if you're interested, just comment below and then maybe uh, um, I can sell it to you guys instead of putting it on eBay. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'll see you in my next video. Take care.